All right, the first thing we want to do is to extract the read number method and put it inside a class called console. First, I'm going to show you the poor way of doing this, and then I'm going to show you a better way. So here's the poor way. We go to our project, and inside this package, we add a new class. We call it console. OK. Now we go back to our main class. So here's where we're calling the read number. Let me show you a shortcut to jump to the declaration of this method. So on the top, under the Navigate menu, look at the shortcut for declaration. On Mac, that's Command and B. So we press Command and B. Here's our read number method. So the poor way of doing this is by selecting this code, cutting it, and then going back to the console class and paste it here. Now, why is this bad? You can see that here we have a few compilation errors. We haven't imported the scanner class. That's why IntelliJ doesn't recognize it. Also, the code in our main class is broken. So wherever we call the read number method, now we have to manually prefix it by console dot. So this is the poor way of refactoring this code. We'll end up with several compilation errors. Now let me rewrite these changes back. So undo, undo. OK, here's the read number method in our main class. We brought it back. I'm going to delete the console class. There you go. All right. Now let me show you the proper way to refactor this method. So we put the caret on the method name. And on the top, under refactor, look at the shortcut for refactor this. On Mac, it's Control and T. So wherever we press Control T, IntelliJ suggests a few refactoring techniques. Here, we want to move this method to a different class. So I'm going to select Move here. On the top, you can see that we are moving this method from this class. Where do we want to move this to? Com.codewithmosh.console. Now, we don't have this class yet, and that's why it's displayed as red. But don't worry, IntelliJ is going to automatically create it for us. Now, on the right side, look at the visibility. So here we have various access modifiers. We want to make sure that this method is public so it can be called from outside of this class. Now, let's click on Refactor. It's asking that this class doesn't exist. Do you want to create it? Of course. So here's our console class. IntelliJ moved all the code here. And because we're using the scanner class, it also imported it on the top. So we don't have the compilation error that we had earlier. Also, it changed our main class. So on the top, where we call the read number method, it prefixed it with the console class. This is what we call safe refactoring. So instead of us manually moving code around, we use IntelliJ. This is much faster and produces fewer errors. 